Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is approximately noon in Honolulu, Hawaii, 10th day of August, Wednesday, and this is the daily report for gold. Up about $50 on the day. We have tested $1,800 gold, my friends. That's correct, $1,800 gold. I expected the $1,800, but never this quickly. We are currently trading up drastically on the day at about $1,794.50. You see the current print on the screen for the first time today. We are witnessing the market slow down just a little bit. I want to start by really taking a look at the big picture. On the Lower right hand side, you see that I have two daily charts, one in candlestick format, one in Henkin format, really so you can see the difference. But let's start with our Henkin format. On our average charts, as you know, you know for what I look for in terms of straight strength, in terms of the trend itself. Traders, look at this last candle here. No lower wick, sizable candle, no upper wick incredibly strong. The last couple of trading days, you can see this buildup as we hit this market, this crescendo. And this crescendo that we've had just at around the 1800 market hasn't backed off that much, is as strong as I have ever seen it. When you consider the fact that in this last trading week, Remember, this is a daily chart and it's only Wednesday. So you're looking at the last three days of trading and of course Sunday's trading activity. It's Monday in Australia, but Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. When we look at that, we have seen this market move from in this last four trading days from just above 650 to almost 1800. We've seen a $150 move in gold and we've witnessed it in less than a week. The other thing of interest is that when we look at these Henkin candles, we had our solid bottom here. You can see that you've got nice sized candlesticks in terms of the bodies. When you compare these bodies to these smaller bodies right in here, they are nice in terms of the size. You get a consolidation, but the market's so strong, you get doji type candles, but they stay green. Never a drop of red goes in them. You get a slow momentum change here, but what you can see is this has really changed because like the trading activity that we saw when this rally first began, this absence of tails and the strengthening of body size, we're getting that here, but in a caliber that's absolutely twice as strong as what we have been witnessing. Traders, it's incredible what we are witnessing right now in the market. When we take a look at our daily chart here in terms of just absolute channel lines, this is the point in which we added to our position because the feeling was we had broken so strongly above that area. But when we look at the marketplace itself right now, it is still trading, but it's trading quietly. It is rallying back up to that $1,800 area. Now, the $64,000 question is obviously, and of course, the following, and that is, as we see this market hit the pivot point that I've been looking for, and I'm going to have to bring up my other chart, which has that 1803 to 1809 pivot point, the question that we must ask ourselves, are we going to see a pullback or is it going to run straight through? Of course, my sentiment is that move to just this 1780 right in this area is 161% extension of wave one. Now, when calculating a Elliott wave move from wave one to wave three using wave one as our benchmark, there is another target point that we haven't put in and I'm going to enter that into the mix now. And that is on really, really strong markets. You can see wave three go to 2.61 times that of wave one. Let's calculate what that would do and where that would take the market. Traders, here is that updated calculation. Now, I am not currently suggesting that we're going to see the market rally to this point. However, what I want to point out is that it is not out of the realm of possibilities that we could in fact see a rally of 261% times that of wave one. This is just straightforward Elliott wave and Fibonacci forecasting. The interesting thing is that takes us above $1,900, $1,907. 
that type of move, that tremendous kind of move, is it possible? Well, if you would have asked me a week ago, do I think we'll hit 1,800 next week, I would have said that's highly unlikely. It's within the realm of probability. However, I don't see it in the cards as we speak right now. However, with this in mind, this type of move, whether this is the conclusion of the rally, meaning we get the type of scenario in which we see the market. For example, we've had wave one, wave two. Let's assume, for example, that wave three tops here. We get a correction, and then we go into the fifth wave. That's within the realm of possibilities also. What I'm trying to say is we have to be exceedingly careful here because I will tell you one thing. At the point in which this market does correct, the correction is going to be done with very little warning. There might or might not be any fundamental game changers in the market that causes it, and it will happen when we least expect it. Traders, as we go into the close of my daily report and we look at the market, I'm going to pull up a short-term chart. It's a 15-minute chart, straight candlestick format. Realize, traders, that we are together witnessing and participating in a historical move in the market. You're looking at $1,800 gold. The print, $1,799.55. Realize out of an aspid spread, I'm using the lower of the two, which means to purchase it right now is over $1,800 an ounce. Where will this rally end? No one knows, but I can tell you this. Based upon the fundamental factors in play in the market without those changing neither will this historic rise in gold 1801 current print we are witnessing history and witnessing a time in which those who are participating in the gold market with all of the turmoil that's going on in the world around us are able to maintain a modicum of success and your portfolio should be growing handsomely. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. And again today, we certainly got our wish. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. $1,800 gold. Bye-bye. Many sights to see and when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange